disappeared. Hey guys, uh, I am hopping on here to remind you. Oh, hey, bring me that door hanger over there. I'm <laughs> sorry. I was hopping on here to remind you guys that the Black Friday sale ends tonight. So um, if you're interested in that, hop on over to my website, southernadornmentsdecor.com forward slash black dash Friday dash deals or just go to Southern Dormant's decor and click black Friday deals up at the top of the page hi Cindy say hi to me as you guys come on um, I'm painting a snowman door hanger for a customer and I've got most of it done but I just wanted to show you guys real quick this snowman face stencil it looks like this how cute and you can either cut it out of paper or you can actually cut it out of stencil material hey Brittany and um, the reason I cut it out of paper is because um, I just like to trace it with a pencil and then paint inside the line. So that's what I'm show you guys tonight how easy that is. And if you buy the, the space stencil to cut out at home on your Cricut, you can cut it out of cardstock just like this or you can cut it out with stencil material. It's up to you. And you can resize it to any size snowman face that you want. So like this snowman, um, I think I sized it to about eight inches across because he's got a bigger face. Let me show you. But like the snowman that has the snowman on one side and the stacked pumpkins on the other, that one would be sized smaller. It would be sized more like um, six inches, I think. Hi, Lisa. What are you guys doing on a Sunday night? Has everybody got their Christmas decorations up yet? I've got all of mine up. I just haven't done anything outside. I'm just like, I don't know, not in the mood to decorate outside this year for some reason. So I don't know if it'll happen. But anyway, so you can get this stencil on my website, and um, or you can just buy it if you want me to cut it out of stencil material, and I can mail it to you. That's up to you. Um, the Black Friday deals that are ending the line tonight. Let me tell you about those before I forget. Um, there's a deal for a three-month subscription to the, the virtual paint party group, and with that, you get a discount for signing up for three months in advance. Oh, thank you, Amy. And then you also get a free stencil mailed with your door hanger each month. Like, it won't be like this. It'll be mailed, like, cut out of plastic. So, it'll be one you can use again and again. <laughs> oh, I need a Grinch. Yes, I do, Brittany. I do have one extra, and Brett's dying to keep it. So, we may put it up. I don't know. Um, but if you sign up for three months, you get free stencil every month. And there's a six-month and a 12-month subscription. And, and it'll tell you all the details on the website. Just click the Black Friday link up at the top. Lisa, you're gonna get your tree up today. <laughs> Another Lisa. There's a lot of Lisas that follow my page. I don't know what that's about. But anyways, um, and I wanted to remind you guys, don't forget to sign up for the December virtual paint party. It's gonna be a double-sided door hanger. It says, bless this southern mess. And the little snowman on the other side. You can put whatever you want on the other side. It doesn't matter to me. But I'm gonna, show, I'm gonna give you guys a stencil to do this hand lettering that says, bless this southern mess. So that you guys will be able to do that. So... Um, don't forget about that. Um, the sign up for this ends November 30th, which is what, Thursday? So you've gotten from now until Thursday to sign up for that. It's $42. I will mail you the, the um, mason jar and then I'll set a date on the Facebook group and we'll paint together. Pat, where do you purchase your stencils? I actually make them myself, Pat, and I sell them on my website and I also sell the cut files for anybody who wants to cut their own. So anyways, oh, and then the Black Friday deal. Uh, let's see, we've got the virtual paint party deal, which I already mentioned. The stencil bundle, which is all 18 stencils that are currently available on my website, um, are all in a bundle for sale for half price. And then there's also a bundle of all the door hanger templates, and those are half price. Okay, uh, are the stencils one-time use? Ones like this that are made of paper, if you're going to cut them out of paper, are probably going to be one-time use. I mean, you could probably paint on top of this once or twice, but it's not going to hold up very well. If you get them, if you cut them yourself or if you buy them from me, they're going to be cut out of the uh, seven and a half millimeter Mylar plastic and they are use, reusable. I mean, I have some that I've had for a year now. You take it to my paint parties and we're still using them at every single paint party. So, I mean, you can imagine how many times that is. Hi, Jane. <laughs> oh, thank you for Happy Thanksgiving. You're loving the Black Friday offers. Can't hardly see your name. Libby. Thank you, Libby. Okay, let me show you guys this. So you got this little cute snowman face. Let me angle my camera down so you can see a little better. And I can either turn it this way, just depending upon how his face is shaped. I may do it this way. Because it's going to take up like almost his entire face. It's going to be big. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I get it positioned on there just right. Okay, and then I'm going to just trace with a pencil 
Of course, if you buy the stencil from me already cut out, it'll be cut out of plastic and you can just paint right on top of this. But I'm just preferring right now to just do it with pencil like this. And then we're just gonna paint inside the lines. I like his little bumpy carrot nose. Okay, can you guys see that? I think so. All right, now for his little rosy cheeks, I'm gonna use the color called Cameo Pink. And we're just going to paint the little circle there. Let me get a napkin. Hello, Kay. We're just gonna paint his little rosy cheeks this Cameo Pink color. And then when we do his little smile, it's gonna come up on top of the rosy cheeks. Okay, are you in Kentucky yet? I know you guys have been traveling a lot. Hi, Teresa. Does the Black Friday deal start with the December design or does it start in January? Um, it starts with December, unless you tell me otherwise. If you would rather it start in January, I can do that. I did have a, guys, look what I just did. Not that it really matters. I can paint over that, but I was talking and I just kept painting his little mouth pink. That is not what you're supposed to do, by the way. Terrible tutorial. Um, so that's what I get for talking and painting at the same time. Um, if you, I did have somebody message me and they wanted to buy the three month or they wanted to buy a subscription as a gift. And I'm okay with that. She said she was going to give it to somebody in December for them to use in January. And that's fine. You just need to make sure and let me know like their information, their shipping address and like all of that information so we can make sure and get them added to the group and end on the right month. You'd rather start yours in December. Okay, well, Teresa, make sure and send me a private message or something because I'll forget after this video is over with. Okay, I'm gonna wait for that pink to dry and then we're gonna paint that black. But in the meantime, let's paint his little nose. I'm using Spiced Carrot. It's like my favorite orange. It covers really well. And part of the reason why I want it to cover pretty good is because of these pencil lines. Like if I was using the bright orange or maybe it's called pumpkin orange. If I was using pumpkin orange, it would not cover these pencil lines very well. Which you can still kind of see them, but not nearly as bad as if I had used the pumpkin orange. So this is spiced carrot. I'm just gonna fill that in. Jonda, is the snowman available? Um, it is available as a template and as a blank door hanger on my website. You can get either, either one. And if you buy the blank, um, I will already have the scarf, the buttons, and the hat kind of drawn on there. The snowman face won't be drawn on there. You would have to buy that template separate. But um, everything else would be kind of sketched out for you. Now I'm just filling in his eyebrows with black. And then afterwards, I'm also going to put the words let it snow at the bottom. And I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cute bow for this. Um, a good tip for the snowman, if you're wanting to paint it and leave it up all winter, don't use red and green. The person who ordered this uh, wanted the red and green, but if you want like uh, wintry colors, you could do like red and turquoise, and that wouldn't necessarily be Christmas. It could be all winter. Okay, so for this smile, I'm going to just start right here and fill this in, and then I'm going to do like a little dimple up on the cheeks. His smile got a little wobbly, that's okay. All right, we're gonna bring this up onto the cheeks like this, can you see? What kind of paint brushes do I use? Right now I'm using a, this is called a filbert tip. Do you see how the tip is kind of rounded? It's not really flat, that's a filbert tip. And what I like about it is it's nice and thick, and so it holds lots of paint. I don't have to keep re-dipping. But I'm just gonna do that little dimple up on top of the cheek. Like that. I also love the filbert brushes for uh, lettering. Some great filbert brushes are like these right here. I think I bought these on Amazon and they come in like the pack I got comes in different sizes and they're all filbert tips like this, but they're different sizes. So let's see, let me find another one. 
here's two or three of them. They're all the same type. They're just different thicknesses. And you can use all of these for lettering. Um, but you would like this would give you the middle one would give you the thickest letters like the biggest fattest letters and of course the skinny one would give you the smallest letters okay meg when you purchase the pre-cut do you include the paint color recommendations um no not usually but you know if you have a problem with figuring out what paint colors to use you're more than welcome to send me a message and i'll give you color recommendations okay i'm just gonna do like some little white lines on his nose to kind of make it look bumpy and then um, little white accents on the cheeks. And then I need a thicker brush. Let me clean out my Filbert brush. Thank you, Ann. And I'm just gonna use this same Filbert brush and I'm gonna do almost like a little, uh, it's, it's not quite a circle, it's more like a little rectangular highlight in his eyes. But it's kind of rounded too. So that makes a really cute, easy snowman face. Okay, now down at the bottom, I'm gonna use my Filbert brush and I'm gonna pick the middle middle size one. It, let me see if it has a number on it. Yes, it says number six. These are crafter's choice brushes. And I'm just gonna dip it in the black and we're gonna write, let it snow down here. And these are great because they're kind of, they're flexible, but they're also very firm. And they, um, I feel like I have lots of control Let it, and it holds lots of paint too. So I don't have to keep re-dipping quite as often. Snow. I better stop talking before I end up misspelling the word snow. And if you notice, like doing these little things like this, these little lines at the end of the letters, those are called uh, serifs. So like in certain fonts, if you see that it's a serif font, that means it's got those little lines at the bottoms of the letters. There we go, let it snow. And then um, let me show you how to make this cute bow. Okay, I've already pre-cut some ribbon and each piece is about I think that's about six inches. Might be more like seven. I don't really have anything to measure with right now. But anyway, about six to seven inches. And you're gonna do six pieces. So I've got two pieces of the black chevron. Got all of these ribbon, no, did not get all of these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, red quatrefoil, and then got this one at Sam's Club. I love that one. Okay, and then you're just going to layer them, like lay them all out, kind of flat. Wait, can you see? I hope so. Okay. And then like stick your finger in the middle of one, pinch it and pick it up and just kind of hold it pinched like that. Then you're gonna take the next one. Don't layer the same color on top of each other. You're gonna kind of alternate and do red. Let's see, we've got a little crisscross. That green one's a little longer than red, but it's really not gonna matter. And then do your black. And it really helps too if your ribbon has wire in it. So all of these have wire in the ribbon, that really helps. And then the green again. And I'm gonna try to go the opposite direction of the last green one that I did. See, they create an X. So the red again, and I'm gonna go opposite direction of the last red. And then finally, black. This is kind of the theme of my Christmas tree this year. Red, green, and black and white. Okay, so I've got all of these things. Now next, you can either use um, pipe cleaner or you can use just regular old jute string. I have jute string handy, so that's what I'm going to use. But pipe cleaner might be easier for you because you've got more control when you wrap it around. Shanna, you love Sam. Me too, guys. If y'all have not checked out the Sam's Club ribbon, you need to run and get it now because you can get what 50. Remind me, Shanna, is it 50 yards for like seven dollars or eight dollars? I don't know. It's a lot of ribbon. Like you'll be able to use it for years and years. Okay, so see, it's not real cute yet, but you got to kind of hold the middle and fan these out a little bit. And when you fan them, kind of fluff them to where they curl toward the back a little bit. Like, um, it makes them look poofier. And try to separate them where you can see all the colors and it creates almost like a pinwheel shape or pom-pom almost. I think I called it, that's what I call this. I call it like a pom-pom bow because it reminds me of like a pom-pom. So I'm just shaping this out. And since it's got all this wire, that's when the wire really comes in handy. 
and I usually go ahead and staple it down and then shape it some more. So, um, let me get my staple done. And I'm gonna put it right up here on the hat. That's why I didn't put any polka dots on the hat because I knew this giant bow was gonna cover most of it up anyway. And I'm gonna do one on this side and then I'm gonna lift up and do one kind of on the other side. And then I'm really gonna fluff it some more so that it kind of pops up off the door hanger and you can see all the pieces. There you go. Whoop, that's, I may have to trim that green one because I don't want it hanging down in his eyes. Let me show you. Isn't that cute and festive? There we go. He's all ready for Christmas. Christina, what size staples? Uh, they're quarter inch staples and it's um, a Stanley staple gun. I got it at Lowe's. You've met, 50 may have been last year. I miss, must have missed the last comment, sorry. Um, if you guys have any questions, pop them in the comments and I'll come back and answer them later. If you wanna find the snowman face stencil, hop on my website, southernadornmentsdecor.com. I will post the link to the website in the comments as soon as I get off here. And don't forget to sign up for the December virtual paint party group. We're gonna be painting a double-sided mason jar. You can only sign up for that from now to November 30th. So get in there quick. Um, I think we've got at least 40 spots available. So, I mean, I've already got 40 mason jars cut out. So, uh, as soon as you guys sign up, I'll be shipping your door hangers. Susan, I wish I would do a live on the buffalo print. Well, um, Susan, did you see that in the comments for that buffalo print post? Uh, or actually, I think earlier today, I shared the buffalo print video. I hated to do a tutorial on it because I actually watched someone else's tutorial to learn how to do it. And so I wanted to help them out by sharing their tutorial on my page. So you can just go, it's actually called Junk to Jewels. Um, that's the people who did the tutorial and they did an excellent job with the tutorial. So there's really no point in me doing another tutorial for this same exact project. Teresa, can I list the templates in the Black Friday sale? Um, Teresa, if you go to the um, template section of my store, it's all of those templates. There's 76 of them, so I really can't like list them. But if you like go through and just scroll, you can look at all of them because it's every single template that's right now currently available in my store. You're getting them half price in that bundle. Uh, oh, thank you, Lisa. Yes, I saw it, and it was it was like super simple. They broke it down step by step and made it a whole lot easier than I really thought it was going to be. <laughs> yes, Shanna, you need to go watch it. Junk to jewels. Um, if you scroll down on my page, I shared it earlier today, but, uh, anyways, I'm going to get off here and get my kiddos in bed because it is now nearly nine o'clock and we got school back tomorrow. They've been off for five days, so they're not too happy about that, but thank you guys for hopping on and joining me and, uh, don't forget to hop on and buy whatever you want for the Black Friday sale because it's ending tonight at midnight and, um, of course the virtual paint party is now until November 30th, so you've got till Thursday to sign up for that. How long is the sale? Melissa, it ends at midnight tonight. Oh, thank you, Susan. I appreciate it. All right. I want to see you guys later. Bye-bye.